and welcome back to Puff TV. I'm Mia, and we're right in the heart of the Black Knights Film Festival in Tallinn. Today, I have two amazing guests with me uh, who have worked uh, behind the film uh, Ice Aged. So I have the director, Alexander Sell, with me today, and also a cast member, Nadia. Hi, welcome. Hi, hey. Hi. thank you for <laughs> inviting us. How are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, we're great. Um, we arrived yesterday and um, already saw some amazing films and it's a very friendly, warm place here All right. with great breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so as an introduction, maybe you could briefly uh, summarize what your film Ice Age is about. Well, it's about the world championship for adult figure skaters, as they call themselves. Some would call them hobby figure skaters. And it's like a world championship for people who are a bit older than 30, let's put it this way. And, and we show the hard training that is involved to get there. And we learn to get to know um, about our protagonists' lives on the way. All right. So... This is actually your second film that revolves around figures, like adult figure skating. So why have you revisited this concept? Because um, my first film uh, was a feature film. Yeah. And when I premiered it, I met a really nice gentleman in the Q&A called Roland, mm -hmm. who is now one of our lead protagonists, who told me that there is a real world of adult figure skaters mm -hmm. out there, an international world where people from all over the world meet and I thought I need to, to go and see and I did and I took photographs there and then I just knew I want to make another film about adult figure skating. That's a really great story. So what do you think makes a good documentary? I think a good documentary um, is one that is all about emotions about real emotions and not about posture and not about posing and not about testimonials mm -hmm. because we live in an age of testimonials but um, we try to have moments that were almost like mise-en-scene mm -hmm. but that are actually real life. Yeah, so do you feel that there's a specific scene in this film that you like the most? Um don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't think so because it's um, I love all protagonists and it's about um, six people, six groups of people and it's all equal to me. Mm -hmm. Of course, I like the moment towards the end of the film when all the hard work pays off. <laughs> so professional figure skating uh, uh, coaching is known to be like quite unforgiving, quite rough. Um, as everyone involved is very passionate about the sport, but when making this documentary, did you see the same tendencies in the, like the hobby level figure skating? Or um, no, it's really different from what the young athletes do. Mm -hmm. The young athletes is often the parents that that push them, and and sometimes the coaches and the whole system of um, athletic figure skating. Whereas the adults, they do it all because they they want it. <laughs> they wanted mm -hmm. themselves and, and from the point of view of the coaches i find they help us to live our dream they come into training with us seeing what we want and help us to reach that so it's a very different atmosphere very different dynamics in training mm -hmm. i i often witness uh, i totally agree with nadia that the coaches um are not as hard as their students. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the adult um, skaters are very ambitious, very passionate, and they want to learn. Yeah. And as we all know, it doesn't um, get easier to learn as you get older. So I know you talked a little bit about how you found Roland, <laughs> but uh, what was the process of finding the other people you were following in the film? So for example, Nadia. Well, I went to, um, to, to visit the World Championship and, um, and there I met all our wonderful protagonists. Oh. They were there and I just couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> and I met Elena, um, who grew up in the Soviet Union and who is a very tiny lady, very talented. And from a distance, I thought, why is there a child on ice? <laughs> but there was Elena in her 50s. <laughs> She is absolutely amazing. She's an engineer, a very technical person, mm -hmm. 
in, in her professional life, but um, makes all her dresses herself and is a very passionate skater. And then there was a trio on ice, and I couldn't believe it. And it was around uh, Linda Bernard, who will also come tonight, um, who um, was figure skating champion in the 1960s in, in Britain. And she was brought back onto the ice by her friends, by Nadia Colborn and David Marcel. And they really saved her life. I think. Linda was in 1968 Olympics. Wow. Skating against <laughs> Russians. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Fair <laughs> skating. Wow. And what do you think, what was the process like for you? I mean, like starting the film, like when she approached you with this idea? It's hard to tell. I was yesterday flying here. I was trying to reminisce and look at the old photos we had throughout when I first met Alexandra. I don't even know how I ended up there. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking. I think talking genuinely how much we love what we do, how much we sacrifice, because you have to have a careful balance for every single adult between work, family, other commitments, charity, animals, <laughs> anything else that happens in your life. And I think Alexandra was just chatting to me and now and then I was telling her, oh, that happened, oh, that happened. And then one day in 2019, I came with Linda and David to compete at Skate Berlin in Berlin. And we were part of the show as well, which was televised on German television. Mm -hmm. Alexandra came in, and I think it was then when you made us. It was love at first sight. <laughs> yeah, you just was, said, um, 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 guys, um, do you want to be a yeah, part of it? Yeah. But you never know until the end. You really don't know. You will be in it or you won't, because it's very evolving process. Mm -hmm. It was ice-aged life for all of us, ice-aged family for the last five years. It's very nice. So <laughs> it came very natural. I think yeah. so. Yeah. You can't mm -hmm. pretend that. It just has to be what it is. All right, then. What was the biggest challenge while making this film? Corona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we were ready to start filming in the beginning of 2020, which is when the pandemic started. And um, it was challenging because um, for the skaters, it was really challenging because all the ice rink was, were shut and the world championship was postponed twice. Um, on the other side, we really got to know each other very well in the process. We became friends. We There was so much going on apart from the filming and mm -hmm. I feel the film shows that. Mm -hmm. I can't agree more. During yeah. Corona, it was telephone calls. Sometimes I would say, all the skaters are on the Zoom call. Alexandra, do you want to mm -hmm. come in? And we will all cry and say we can't skate. But Aww. all this, and I don't know how this wonderful lady managed to make a selection, what goes in the film <laughs> and what actually stays <laughs> yeah, behind. We, so yeah, much because happened. no one wants to see Corona anymore. So we, we had a lot of stuff that we then didn't use in the end. and. And of course, age is a challenge in this film. It's it's about uh, bodies aging. It's about um, illnesses to some extent. And that was challenging for the skaters and for us behind the camera as well. And what is something you hope that the audience takes away from this film, like the message? I hope, I hope the audience um, takes away that it's a that it's a message of hope. It's a film about hope and it's certainly a film about resilience. Mm -hmm. It's also a film about an international movement about people from various countries um, engaging, which is, I f find, a very um, important political message these days. And I think there will be two types of audience. <laughs> the very, very big audience, which we call the world audience. And our I would like them to watch this and say, I could do it. I could actually change my life, I could do it. Not necessarily skating. It is just believing in themselves and doing something they always dreamt about. And there will be a very niche, small part of audience. It is the people whom Alexandra had to choose her protagonists from. <laughs> we, the six people who are the lead protagonists, we're only a small part of a massive ice skating family. <laughs> and when they watch it, 
I hope they say, guys, you have done it justice. You've shown what we feel. And I think, well, I personally, maybe I'm biased, but I think Alexandra's done a fantastic job. My children cried when they saw the preview. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, truly, what an amazing story and message. And thank you both for joining us today and answering some questions about the film. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our pleasure. Uh, thank and you. Uh, <laughs> thank you for uh, tuning in to Beth TV. And we'll catch you next time. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.